Joanne was born the 24th of April. I remember the nurse put her up in the bed and I just stood there looking over her and just wondering to myself, like, what will you ever do? <laughs> Chances were very slim for survival. As they also, they hadn't detected her spine. Joanne gets up every morning in the same frame of mind as when she goes to bed. I can never understand why she, she's always so jolly, she's always so happy. She's an inspiration to anybody, anybody that ever meets her. And you know, to me, if anything, she's my hero. When Joanne was born, I was eight years old, and I wrote a poem for her while I was in school. Joanne is a very special girl. She's not like you or me. She has no hands and legs, but she's as happy as can be. Her beautiful hair is like golden sand. Her eyes as blue as the sea. And if you ever met Joanne, she'd fill your heart with glee. Little did I know, most of the words would be true. I suppose I always kind of want to be known as Joanne O'Riordan, not the girl with no arms and no legs. But when I'm talking, I feel kind of confident, because I know I can talk. That's the one thing I can do. <laughs> 16 years on, Joanne has this over in New York, and she's doing a speech for the United Nations. It is my wish, and it's my challenge to you and to others out there, to, to build me a robot. The main thing the robot will be doing is picking up the objects I drop, such as a pen, knife, fork, and or my phone. I've never been really excluded, even like when my friends are going out to like the nightclub or the cinema or whatever. I always get the text that, you know, I can come if I want to. I don't need any pity or charity. Joanne featured extensively in the media last December when the government was forced to reverse a cut to the disability allowance in the budget. I always have to make my opinion heard. Even at home, I'm always causing war. You know, I'm the woman that, you know, if you say anything against me, I will probably eat your face off. <laughs> I got to know her first, you know, when I became manager of the Cork team. Joanne was always around at all the games. She's an absolute inspiration to us. We often talk about her, you know, in our team meetings and that sort of thing. Dad thinks it's a phase I'm going through in the teenage years, but I doubt it. She's not a supporter. She's a mascot of the team. Well, as Joanne's brother, I've been absolutely blown away by her sheer ability to adapt her life in a way that probably nobody else could ever imagine. And I've always wanted to make a documentary on Joanne, literally to show, I suppose, the world what she's capable of. Well, I hope to be a TV presenter. hope to have, like, my own show. But at the same time, I want a serious side to it. So I suppose it'd be kind of like the Late Late Show, only a tiny bit on the lighter side. People perceive Joanne to be different, but in our eyes, she's not different. She's actually the same as everybody else. She's just had to think of a different way of adapting her life to succeed. Even though I have no limbs, I will not be limited. Do you know, I've always wanted to, like, brush my own hair. I can't. I have to rely on someone, which is very annoying, because I hate relying on someone. Just because you have a down day doesn't mean the down day will last forever. I mean, I get my down days, but, you know, always kind of look forward and keep positive. I always say she's 100% independent, but 100% dependent because she'll always depend on somebody to bring to her. But then she'll get on with it and she'll do everything herself. Impossible is not really a word, is it? You just look at it and break it up. It really just says, I'm possible. When Joanne will find her niche in life, she'll conquer it because she conquers everything that comes in her way. And I'm hoping that it, it, down the road, Joanne will be the voice for the people with disabilities because they better need it. Just because you can't do something doesn't mean it's impossible. There's obviously going to be another way around it. <laughs>